Zimbabwe is working on strategies to retain health workers in the wake of a massive brain drain that has affected the country's health sector. The Minister of Health and Child Care, Dr. Douglas Mombeshura, has indicated that the brain drain is a cause for concern. He said government is working on ways to retain all human capital. Those who are trained as nurses, as doctors, as uh, radiotherapists, all those other specialists, we need to increase the training, double the numbers again by 2028 to be able to meet the demand um, that we see in our country. But most importantly is to say how do we retain them. Because we've been training a lot of um, uh, health specialists, but all are living for the so-called greener pastures. But we want to turn Zimbabwe into a greener pasture mm. so that we train and retain and then we also bring in other people who should be able to be recruited from other areas to come and um, work with us. I don't want to, uh, to, to, to appear like we want to reverse the brain drain and come to us. Let those who train in Zambia remain in Zambia. Those who train remain here. That's, what, that's an ideal situation, although it's very difficult. The minister added that government is also working on other non-monetary incentives to stop health workers from leaving the country. But we are also trying to look at um, non-monetary incentives mm. to say if somebody has got accommodation on site, um, it cuts your requirement of, for money to rent outside and then there's also no transport involved. Uh, or if we have um, uh, apartments somewhere outside the health institutions, we can put our health staff there and we provide transport for them to the workplace. So these are some of the incentives that we are looking at, non-monetary, which may help in terms of retaining um, the staff. Uh, but obviously the monetary component, we still continue to negotiate, we know Konapo Konapo, Ipapwe Papo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.